Hey everybody, my name is Asanth, aka Fuseman, and today I'm going to show you guys Navi, which is a new open source input solution for virtual reality that uses your smartphone or a tablet. So without further ado, let's get started. So what I have open here is the GitHub repo for Navi. There are two main folders. The first one is the Navi mobile, which is the source code for the mobile app. Then there's also the Navi SDK, which you can use to develop virtual reality games. But what I'm going to show you today is how to try it out. So the first thing you have to do is install the Navi app. And you can find that on Google Play. Um, I currently have that here on my Samsung Galaxy S4. Um, but I'm currently working on getting an iOS build, so you can also try that out on iOS apps as well. The second thing you have to do is download one of the two demos. Currently, the examples I have are Pirate Defense and Jellyfling. We're going to try out Jellyfling today, just because it's my favorite of the two. Go ahead and download that. And as you can see, uh, the code for both Pirate Defense and Jellyfling are open source, so you can use those um, as examples to try it out and see how to integrate Navi into your own apps. So hopefully that's helpful. Let's go ahead and extract. And we're going to go ahead and run. So now before we run, I'm going to go ahead and open up the Navi app on my phone because otherwise I wouldn't be able to see it uh, when I, once I put my headset on. So I have it open. So now I'm going to go ahead, go ahead and hit play. When I do that, I'll see the Unity logo. And then I'm in. So as you can notice, it's already found the, the Navi app and this works through Wi-Fi on a local router. So if you connect both your, your PC and your smart device to the same router, they'll automatically find each other. I'm gonna go ahead and tap to continue. Um, and then what we see here is that as I tilt the device, uh, my virtual my virtual tablet that I see on the screen moves up and down. I can also tilt in the X direction and it'll tilt in the X direction and follow along with my phone. If I double tap, all of those rotations get mapped onto the device itself instead of instead of uh, rotating around me. So I'm going to double tap again and go back into rotating around me mode. So I'm going to follow the instructions right now. Play, uh, have the device face me and I'm going to tap with five fingers to reset and enter the game. So here I am. As you can see there's this slingshot here that is acts exactly like the device we saw before. Um, the other thing to know is at any point if I notice a considerable amount of drift I can go ahead and reset with five fingers. So if I'm like looking at you guys, I think I'm looking at you guys, <laughs> and now reset. So up in the top I see that we want to tap with three fingers to begin, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And now I'm just going to fling a bunch of jellies around. So this is all using touch. So I can just drag and pull the slingshot back. I don't know if you guys can see my fingers, but that's what I'm doing right now. Um, so I can pull to the side, I can pull in front of me, I can pull over here. It's effectively just like a natural slingshot in many cases because I'm just pulling pulling the vice. The other thing that I want to note is the, how intuitive it is to have the slingshot move around with me. Because it has a gyro built into it, I can send that rotational device to the VR application. And for first person shooters, like something like this, it's very, very natural to use because your, your weapon is not tied to your gaze, which is currently the case in a lot of VR demos that I've seen. But here you can get away with that and it just naturally rotates about you. I can rotate it off to the side, rotate it straight over my head, rotate it straight back down. It's a very flexible input solution, which I really appreciate in this in this application. Uh, why don't we go ahead and hit the sun? I think I think green's my favorite one. Just the sound effect and that silly tongue. <laughs> uh, what do we got? 
we got 25 seconds here. Let's see, okay, I already, let's see if I can get to 20,000. It's pretty, I designed the scoring to be pretty easy. Um, oops, I double tapped by accident. Um, and that's, those are all settings uh, that you can, you can turn off and on. It, the code is designed to be pretty flexible, so you, you'll have full control over how users interact with your specific application, which should be really helpful. Alright, so, game is over, uh, scored almost 16,000, or 1,600, rather. So, yeah, I'm just gonna keep throwing a few more jellies, but hopefully this kind of gives you an idea of what you can do with using a smart device as an input controller instead of uh, just uh, a gamepad, for example. So, I'm gonna go ahead and exit out. Alright, so hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, gives you guys a taste of what Navi can do. So I'm looking forward to building this out a lot further um, and looking forward to creating new content with you guys. Um, hopefully it should be a really enjoyable experience and make VR, VR experiences a lot more powerful by using smart devices as input. So thanks guys.